Burglars have been targeting wine shops in the middle of the night in the Russian Kill neighborhood of San Francisco. At one store, the thief used a blowtorch to get inside. Our crime reporter Henry Lee here now with more on what's happening. Henry? Yeah, Frank, this thief or thieves have some pretty expensive taste, a hankering for some fine Italian wine. A burglar is making the rounds in San Francisco's Russian Hill and stealing expensive bottles of Italian wine. But to what end? Is this someone in the wine world who is taking these and plugging them into their own inventory? It's anyone's guess, but one thing's for sure. The thief isn't after two buck Chuck. It seems like he knows what he's looking for. This video shows a man with a crowbar outside the wine boutique Beyond Divino. It's five in the morning on March 18th. He's really working at it, so much so that he even drops the crowbar at one point. A little later, this happens. Because I see this bright light, and I studied art in university, and I was like, that is a welding torch. Beyond Divino owner Carrie Smith says the man then went back to using the crowbar. The alarm sounds. He takes off. Police arrive within minutes, but the would-be burglar was long gone. No idea if the guy's just an avid wine lover you know, that's going to go home and enjoy these, or you know, if he's trying to sell them on a uh, gray market. And last week, someone used a crowbar to break into Habibi Bar, stealing 65 bottles of wine. High-end Italian, specifically Barolo Barbaresco, which generally retails uh, for anywhere from 80 to 500 dollars a bottle. A BB um, co-owner Assam Cardo says the thief also grabbed other bottles that sounded Italian but left more expensive wines alone. It really seemed like they knew what they were doing, but they were they 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 had an idea. But I could be wrong. Wine thefts aren't uncommon. Two men pleaded guilty to stealing wine worth more than five hundred thousand dollars from the French laundry in Yountville back in 2014. They also stole bottles from Alexander Steakhouse in Cupertino and Fine Wines International in San Francisco. Now, Habibi Bar says the stolen bottles were worth more than $6,000. San Francisco police are investigating. No word if these cases are related, but Frank, it's pretty clear these bad guys are making some pretty poor decisions. I just can't believe that the guy showed up with a blowtorch to try to get inside. All right, Henry, thank you.